Hello everybody and welcome to this secret guide on how to use short notes. In a previous video, Guy Back has presented a comparison of 11 different VSL string libraries in which he played the same section for each library so that we could clearly hear the differences between them and appreciate the specific qualities of each library. The emphasis was on the many possible string textures and Guy demonstrated this by using a slow passage with long note articulations. Check out the video right here to see Guy's interesting recommendations. And here's a preview of what's coming in this video. Now, Guy decided to go a step further and extend this concept to a collection of videos, each of which will focus on a different type of articulation, such as short notes, legato, portamento, harmonics, and many more. This will allow this string-specific comparison to be more complete, and the examples will probably spark some creativity in you. So we will examinate eight different string libraries, focusing only on short notes while using an up-tempo passage to compare the different string libraries. Guy will increase the number of players with each example, starting with our synchronized solo strings. Quite a range from eight players to 112 players. And don't forget that you can use the chapters in the timeline to jump between the different examples.
Being a very considerate musician, Guy also thought it would be more interesting to listen to those examples with the addition of other orchestral sections, so he added a few other instruments in the arrangement. Don't forget that you have a lot of options when it comes to mixing with multiple microphones and mixer presets to choose from. Let's talk about some of the main short note articulations and how to use them most effectively. Not all Vienna string libraries contain the same short note articulations, some offer the basic short notes, while others come with greater variety, which has to do with the new technical possibilities we added to our sample players over time, and of course it also has to do with the size and price of the given collection. Let's take a closer look at a few short note articulations. The two most commonly used short note articulations for string instruments are staccato and spiccato. So, how do you know when to use which technique? Let's first define spiccato. Spiccato is a bowing technique for string instruments in which the bow appears to bounce lightly upon the string. So spiccato is better for fast passages by letting the bow bounce between the notes, while staccatos demand more time for each note. Although it is true that spiccato works better in fast passages, there is no rule without exceptions. It also depends on the type and style of the music and on the tradition of how a certain style is played. And I think it's a good thing that you can find different interpretations of the same piece of music. So if you're in a situation where it's not so clear which technique to use, trust your musical instincts. While both techniques use the bow, the key difference between them is that the bow stays on the string when playing staccato, but it comes off the string when playing spiccato. That's why spiccato is considered a bouncing stroke, whereas staccato is not. Now that we have an understanding of the difference between staccato and spiccato, it will be a good idea to play those two articulations on your MIDI keyboard and see if you can hear the difference in the bowing techniques. Some libraries offer more options and flexibility with the short note articulations, such as staccato, bold and agile, staccato, short, bold and agile, spiccato, bold and agile, staccato, fortissimo, staccato, short, fortissimo, spiccato, harsh and spiccato repetitions. You probably noticed I didn't mention detaché. Detaché is also a part of the short note articulations. However, for this video, Guy has decided to focus on the shorter short notes. <laughs> 